Well, hello everyone, this is Rick Pasek, Fly Fish Fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today, a fun little pattern. I'm um, not sure yet. I uh, haven't made, uh, haven't done enough trips with this one yet to say whether it's a success or not. This is one I saw off pin on Pinterest, actually, and uh, somebody was saying this should be banned and da 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 because it's so good but uh, I've used it a couple of times caught fish with it but not consistently so it's one of those ones I'm going to still play with a bit excuse my dog in the background just drinking water and it's bang bang against the wall but uh, yeah so um, uh, let's get started it's just this is a little river nymph um, so we'll start off with a uh, where are we an A-Rex FW550 freshwater mini jig in a size 10 uh, this is a two oversized um, um, jig head bead in orange. It's two sizes too big for this hook, but on, on purpose. Um, we will be using some uh, black um, nano silk. We will be using some stretch body material from Hens in black. And then I made a, uh, a little mix of this number... Number 118 is light blue. The nine, uh, sorry, the 118, the, uh, where are we here? The 392, this one, the green, and well, I can't even see the number, the 411, this kind of a dark blue purple. Okay, I've made a mix, and I've just mixed it by hand. That's what it is, and that's what it's going to be um, around the, uh, the front. So it's a fairly simple fly. Oh, and sorry, and the one that makes it controversial, the, here, I'll have to finish this part, is it's going to have one, just one, um, shrimp eye. Orange shrimp eye hanging out the back end. So mono shrimp eye just hanging out the back end like that. So uh, by what I saw, you wanted about one to one and a half times the body sticking past. So about there. So I'm going to cut it about there. And then that'll be able to sit all the way right into that, right into there. And like I said, I, I haven't had enough trips to say whether this is or is not a success. Um, I have caught fish, but whether I would say this is an absolute killer or not, I can't say that quite yet. So I'm just going to build up just a little bit of a taper here. And I'm going to get this stretch floss. I think this piece I used earlier might be long enough. Yeah, I think so. I'll use this uh, for another, for the rib actually on a chronomedetta tie. So, okay. And then just nice and tight at the back. And then slowly loosen off as you come forward. Right up against each other, nice and loose now. Okay, tighten that up. Make sure that's on really well. Dip that off. Take a little bit of that mix that you made, and not much. You just want a, a little whiff of this up at the front here. And I'm, I'm dubbing it fairly loose. I'll tighten it as I get it on. That, that's the fly, guys. Now, you know, I do. It's not finished, but like I said this. It's a it's a strange looking fly. Um, it's tied also with a uh, with a chartreuse and chartreuse, um, and. I've got both in my box, and I found that both of them worked as well as the other, so it wasn't like, a, oh, I should make sure I have those. Um, but uh, just pull off some of those really long ones, and guess what? We are done. That simple. That simple, that quick. Weird looking fly, I know. Probably one of those blasphemous flies, along with the squirmy wormy and all that, but. It uh, that is it. That is the that is the finished little bugger. 
right? Could it, you could make it a little longer body. It could go a little longer. I, I wouldn't go too much longer, but you could. And uh, yeah, if you want to go smaller, obviously use a smaller bead on that. I like the oversized just to get that thing down, right? So, but uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the. Uh, I don't even know what. Uh, let me see if I can if I can find it. What they called it. Uh, Midge should be banned. This micro midge is so productive it should be banned. Hotspot midge is what they call it. But yeah. Um, the other way they tie it is uh, uh, that I've seen it tied and it might even do a little bit better is with an orange butt or uh, sorry, chartreuse butt um, eye and a black bead or a black bead and, a sh and an orange. So I don't know if it's double orange. Um, but uh, I've, I've got all three. And again, I haven't found, I haven't found that any one of the patterns are better or worse than the, than the other so but yeah there you go hopefully uh, hopefully you guys like that one like i said it's a bit of a strange one but uh it's definitely worth uh experimenting with and uh, we'll see so hope you guys enjoy that time everyone mm -hmm.